Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking you through different colors for use with blusher. Now, before I show you a whole range of colors, the best thing I kind of think with blusher, more than anything else, is use whatever, whatever color you like, whatever color stands out. You know, I think long gone are the days where you kind of pinch your cheeks and see what color that is and try and match it. Pick whatever color makes you happy, the brighter the better, whatever. First thing I'm gonna show you is what I call universal colors. These tend to work on all skin tones from the lightest to the darkest. The first one, I'm gonna be using NARS eyeshadows as a kind of color reference. You look in the description bar, you can find dupes. And if you wanna find other dupes, just pick the color you like. So as an example, NARS orgasm, and just type into Google NARS orgasm dupe, and it'll come up with a whole list of them. The first one that's universal is Exhibit A by NARS. It's a brick red color that can be used on the lightest skin and the very, very deepest. It's an excellent color and it can mimic the effects of sunburn on the face. Two colors that work universally. These can work as highlighters more for deeper skin or blushes for lighter skin is NARS Orgasm and NARS Super Orgasm. Both of these work excellently on all ranges of colors because the shimmer is so beautiful in them. And this color, Desire, works great on all skin tones apart from the very, very deepest because it can run a tiny bit ashy on really, really deep skin tones. Okay, so moving on to really light skin tones first. These two work excellently well, which is Angelica and Gaiety. Both of these are incredibly light pink and they look absolutely gorgeous on light skin tones. The one thing I will say with light, really, really light skin tones is pinks <clears throat> look great, reds look great, but stay away from anything too corally because it can look orange on really, really light skin tones. Sex Appeal is an example. Sex Appeal is one of those colors that looks nice, but it can look a little bit orange on really, really light skin tones. So I think with light skins, pinks, reds, apricots to a certain degree, but kind of stay away from the kind of really peachy tones because they can just look a bit orange. Actually, another one for light skin tones is Nars Deep Throat. This looks excellent on light to medium. Medium skins can use it, but light skins, it looks really, really nice. And this kind of has more of that kind of pink apricot tinge to it. So that's another option for light skin tones. For light skin tones that are looking for more of a kind of a really light bronze effect, then Madly by NARS is an excellent color to use as kind of a bronzer shade. It's not really rec it's not really kind of designed for that, but for really, really light skin tones, Madly works absolutely excellent. And you can apply it just around the hairline to kind of give it that illusion that you've kind of been out in the sun. Moving on to medium skin tones. Medium skin tones are kind of the easiest to pick because most colors work. Apart from really, really, really pale light colors because, you know, blush is supposed to brighten, not kind of reduce the color. Um, some good colors. Torrid is an excellent color for medium skin tones. It has a lot of shimmer and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Outlaw is another great shade for medium skin tones to give a really flushed look. This will work great on women of color with a lighter complexion as well. So they're really kind of really nice shades. Moving into the kind of more bronzy shade is Oasis. Oasis can work for medium skin tones, definitely. It can even be used as a form of bronzer, as I mentioned, just around the hairline area, because it's a beautiful color for that. Another one that can work really well, which is a flat matte shade, is Gilda, which has a kind of a more of an orange tone to it. Looks great on Mediterranean skin types. And Teos is absolutely gorgeous. Teos can be used with a really light hand on light skin tones as well, and for women of color in the lighter kind of skin. Spectrum. Women of color with blusher, I think is probably the hardest of them all because oftentimes the blushes aren't pigmented enough to actually show up on the skin. Um, the best one with regards to NARS, the two best ones are Exhibit A because it's a brick red, it's bright red, and it shows up on all skin types and looks amazing. Also Sleek do amazingly pigmented blushes for women of, for everyone, but particularly women of color because they all stand out. The best one by far is Taj Mahal by NARS. It has a lot of gold in it, a burnt gold orange color, which looks amazing on deeper skin tones. Absolutely amazing, because we don't want anything that could turn ashy, and gold on dark skin tones can look really good. I tend to think, as a personal thing, it's better to stay away from anything with purple in it for blusher, because it's just not a nice look. At least I don't think so. Seduction is a great color for women of color. Mediterranean women can get away with this quite nicely as well, or a very light hand for light, medium skin tones. Seduction's kind of 
It reminds me of a less shimmery version of NARS Craze that they once had, which is now sadly gone. Great, great colour. Again, another colour that has an orange undertone to it is Lovejoy. This can work great as well as a light blush for women of colour. And kind of moving on, this is, you would need to be kind of in the Mediterranean to light ebony skin tones to get away with Dolce Vita, but you can absolutely use that on medium, medium tan and light ebony skin tones as well. The best kind of thing I think with, again, just to reiterate with blush, it really doesn't matter. I think what getting the most pigmented blush you can absolutely find and using it with a light hand can work on a majority of skin tones. And in the description box below are a whole list of other products as well that you can kind of find products that will, you know, contain beautiful colors, beautiful pigment. And again, I think the thing to really bear in mind, particularly as you go into deeper skin tones, is blushes with shimmer can go a really long way in helping to prevent and eliminate ashiness that can happen on the skin because the sparkle on the glitter will reflect away from any of that kind of ashiness that can happen as our skin tones get darker. Don't forget to check the description box for lots and lots of information on different blushes, dupes, and all that kind of stuff. And don't forget to rate. And if you're interested, in the description bar is my second vlog channel, so don't forget to subscribe to that. See you next time. Bye-bye.